it's it's good to have it back. I know I, I didn't play it when I was here, and I know it went away after the Southwest Conference for a time. But uh, both fan bases are very passionate um, and, and seem to really enjoy this rivalry. So I, I think it's good that, that we get to play them every year and uh, should be good for the fans. It's been a long time. I know I was thinking about that. So, um, you know, it, it's it's uh, last year's game, you know, back and forth was such a tightly contested game and, and hard fought and expect that this week and then excited that they're coming to Lubbock. And, and we had a, uh, you know, going up to their place last year was awesome. You know, they did a great job redoing their stadium um, from our stand, standpoint of it and, and uh, looking forward to having them come back on Thursday. Uh, we're going to have our hands. So this will be the biggest test to date. Uh, we're going to have to play with uh, good eye control. Uh, they do a lot of things with uh, their motions, their their fly sweep series, uh, one backs, two backs, no backs. Try to keep that second level um, eye control really for our guys and making sure that uh, that our safeties have their eyes where they're supposed to be and just be be sound across the board. We got after them quite a bit, but uh, last year is last year. We expect a different TCU team. We expect them to come in excited, definitely with a chip on their shoulder after losing last year. So, you know, we expect a tough team to come in here on Thursday. Just have to adjust some things, cut some things down, and, and really, you know, talk to the kids about mental, mental reps. You're not going to get as many physical reps on the field as you would in a normal week. So it's all about film study and, and taking care of their bodies and, and being able to handle that quick turnaround. Watching from afar, just the record he's compiled there in his 13 years, like I think 117 and 37 or something ridiculous. So he's one of the best in the country at developing players and, and does a tremendous job. Which one are they trying to give to us? You know, we're trying to take away all facets of the game. You know, we're looking, of course, stop the run, make them throw it. That'll, that'll probably be the best bet for us. He's a, he's a guy, I watched that LSU game as it happened, and he's a guy who, you know, jumps out at you when you watch him play. That's one of the most athletic defenses we played. Last year when I played against him and, and the things he was able to do with his feet and his arm against him shows you what type of athlete he is. So it's going to be a huge challenge trying to contain him with his arm and his legs. Yeah, we'll find out. It's, it's a great measuring stick. I mean, they're at the top of the conference, and I think if you look at all the preseason polls where people have picked them um, with all the returners they have coming back, um, it's going to be a great challenge. I'm not sure where we're at as a team, but, but I know they're really good.